Hey, everybody, this is Marcellus Troy Alexander. We are back one more time, Inspiration with Troy Alexander. We come on every week to encourage you, to uplift you, and tell you to hold on to your dream and do not give up on your dream. So tonight we have an amazing guest that I'm super excited about introducing you to the world, her to the world, and to you tonight. But before we get there, listen, stay connected with us. We're on Facebook, Troy Alexander. We're on Instagram at Pick by design. I love taking photos at Pick by Design. We're on YouTube, Inspiration with Troy Alexander. And listen, our nonprofit, call to inspire.org, call to inspire.org. And tonight we have an amazing guest. But before then, one more time, listen, our book of poetry, poems, inspiring dreams, purpose, and destiny can be found on amazon.com. It's pinned to our Facebook page. I'm excited to share, to uplift and to encourage you in word. And tonight, we have an amazing guest. Her name is Suzanne Koch. Listen, she's age 15. She's a singer, performed in many charity events. She's an actress, short film she's done. Recently competed in the Taekwondo tournament and placed first in both categories. We're going to talk about that form, my goodness, and more. Runway model, walked in New York Fashion Week, walked in Atlantic City Fashion Week, Walk in International Fashion and Arts Week, and many more. Commercial modeling for brands such as Amazon and Zulily, I believe, print model, has been on many magazine covers, in, including International Fashion and Arts New York and Beyond Your Frame. Welcome, Suzanne. How are you? I'm great, Troy. How are you? I am doing wonderful. I'm so excited to have you, Suzanne. It's just awesome to know you. I've known you for a lot of years, and it's been amazing just having you a part of our journey, and thank you. So I've been blessed because of you. So thank you so much. We're so happy to have you. I got to ask you, when did you start? At what age did you start your modeling? Um, I started runway modeling at age 10. I was in fifth grade, I remember. Um, I was very small. I grew a lot since then. And I grew not only like physically and mentally, but I also grew in my modeling career, which is really exciting. Yes. And listen, I can tell you, listen, you have truly grown so much in all of who you are, your talent, your gifts, your abilities. And, and so did you know, like, can you see your growth? I can. I look back on like the videos from my first runway show and I look to the most recent one. And I'm like, wow, I changed a lot. <laughs> you have. I mean, just but but you've changed like even greater, like you were already great. Right. But 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 you grew even greater in your ability and your walk and your book, just everything about you. And, and so so going back to that first runway. Tell me about that experience and what that was like at age, what, 10, you said, right? Um, it was very new and exciting. I haven't done it before. And I was, I think, the youngest one there. So it was like so many like older people. And I was kind of intimidated. But it was like such a fun experience. And that's why I continue to do it until now to today, because it was like so fun. And it's still like so, so fun. And I love it so much. What, what, what? What do you love most about it? Because because to me, and I want to talk more about it, but it's so much involved, right? There, there's so much happening and it's very fast. But what do you love most about it? I like a lot about it, obviously. But I think what I love most is meeting new people. Um, I've made so many friends. Um, I've met so many people, made so many new connections. You know, I'm always like here for you. I'm always here on your show and I love it so much. So you're <laughs> well, listen, you are so amazing and so phenomenal. And just to see you grow has been tremendous. It really has. And so I got to ask, do, do you remember your first New York Fashion Week show? I do. I, I do remember. Um, and what was that like? It was very exciting. I, I was age 10 too. It was my second show, I believe. Um, it was very exciting. Um, it was, again, very brand new to me at the time. And um, it was much more advanced, you know, like the hair, the makeup, the, the outfits. It was, it was amazing. I love it so, so much. So wait, 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 wait. So, so, so you're telling me that your second 
runway show was New York Fashion Week. So, so, so that that right there alone tells me like you're that amazing and that awesome because who does their second fashion show as New York Fashion Week? So, so were you scared? Were you nervous? Tell me about what was it like. I wasn't scared or nervous. I feel like when I'm modeling, it just comes naturally. I'm never like, I never get stage fright or anything. When I sing, sometimes I do get stage fright and I'm like, right. what if I mess up? But modeling, it's it's never like that for me. Wow, that that's incredible. It's, it's, it's like you're in your moment, right? At, at age 10, your second fashion show was New York Fashion And I'm telling you, like, that's really where you belong. You're so good. I mean, you are so amazing and so awesome. And so, like, I want to ask you, you've done so many fashion shows from New York to Atlantic City to international and fashion arts and all of the, um, do you, what is different? Do you have to prepare differently for each of them? Or is it all the same to you? Or is there anything different about the shows that you have to prepare mentally a little different? It depends um, on the designer, I think. Because okay. let's say your clothing is more city, urban, like you're going to have a different walk than, you know, a fancy ball gown. So that's definitely like something different between each show. And, and, and did you take classes on that or did you or are you self-taught? Um, I took classes. I took modeling classes, um, age 10. And then that was more city, urban, like um, and then I also took other classes um, with a more couture walk and a more, um, they taught me how to walk for um, auditions and like cat, uh, cat casting calls, sorry. Right. Um, which is like more poised, um, more like out, you know, like fancy, elegant walk like that. So there are different walks for everything. Wow, that that's amazing. and. And you learned all of that. You went, you took some class. I mean, listen, I can see the growth in you. Listen, you are, to me, a show stopper. Like, you're the closer, right? <laughs> you're, you're the closer. Like, did you ever envision yourself being um, at the place you are now? I mean, maybe. Not at this age. When I was younger, I was always like, I, I might want to try modeling when I'm older, you know, when I finish school and everything. But as right. a high schooler, um, no, probably not. <laughs> I don't remember <laughs> imagining me, a high schooler, doing this. Amazing, amazing. Well, listen, like I said, I've seen you walk in person. Um, it's amazing to see where you are now. Um, tell me about, did you ever envision yourself like on the cover of magazines? I mean, you are, I mean, your photos, are so like marquee. I mean, that's the word that comes to me. <laughs> it's marquee. It's like like New York, Paris. Like I, I'm 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 envisioning all of these things. And so, did you ever envision yourself on a cover of an international fashion magazine? I've had dreams, you know. Um, <laughs> small children like to dream, you know, like Vogue. Um, I've always been like, oh, I wish I was there. And now I am. And it's so exciting. And it's so cool. Yeah. Yes, yes you are. At age 15, everybody. She mm -hmm. is there at age 15. And I'm so proud of you. I'm Thank so you. proud of you, Susan. I'm so proud of you. More than you could ever dream. I'm so proud of who you are. And you're just, and you're an amazing person. So not only are you a supermodel, but you're an amazing person as well. And it's just amazing. So I got to ask you, if, if somebody said, I want you to be our supermodel for this brand or for that brand, and I want you to do it, or I need you to do it full time, is that something that you would consider? Because you're so talented and doing so many things. Um, but if somebody said, I want, I, I want you to be our full time model, supermodel, is that something that you would consider or not quite just yet? If it was like right now, this moment, yes. um, I probably not take it and I have my reasons I'm still 15 I still have like <laughs> so much ahead of me and I do want to finish school um and I want to go to college you know and I don't think like working full-time as a supermodel is best for that but if the opportunity came I might take it like later on <laughs> in life. 
Yeah. Wow, <laughs> amazing. Well, listen, you're you're so you're so um intellectually amazing, like your thought process and how you do it. It's so awesome. And so um I want to ask you is is um I mean you you sing, you model, you you you're an actress. Um so I want to ask you about um backstage because I've shot backstage for like fashion week for a New York fashion week and it's hectic, right? It's so busy. How, how did you learn at such a young age, how to deal with that experience with so much happening with adults in the room, right? So many things going on designers. How did you learn how to juggle that and adjust? Um, most like fashion shows are very experienced, the ones I do. And um, the people, the crew, they're always there for you. If you ever need anything, you have a clothing malfunction, hair and makeup is always there. Um, backstage crew, everyone's there. And my mother, um, since I'm still a, a minor, she's always there with me, uh, making sure I get everything done that I need. Um, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. And, and, and so you've never, have you ever had an experience where, where things didn't go right that you expected at a fashion show? And if yes, how'd you handle that? Um, when I did one show, I was still, I was considered um, an adult model, um, but I was very tiny. I was still 13, 12. Um, so none of the clothes really fit me. But then me and the backstage crew manager, we just went around every single designer until we found two pieces of clothing. So it worked out perfectly fine in the end. Wow, <laughs> that's awesome and amazing. Listen, um, you have done so, so much um, in the modeling world. I mean, just in your five years, five years of modeling, you've done so much. Um, if you could give someone advice, right? That's going into modeling and they're getting ready for their big first show, New York Fashion Week or Atlantic City Fashion Week, right? Or so many more. What would be your advice to them? Um, I would say that modeling is for you to have fun and don't listen to anyone else, you know? I mean, there will always be critics um, for how you look, how you dress, everything. Don't listen to them. And like, just have fun, you know? It's, it's your runway. Sure, show. I, listen, everybody. She, she said, "It's your runway." I love that. I love that about you. it's your runway. That's that's phenomenal. And so you talked about critics and not hearing the critics. And um, have you had that experience where people have said things and comments that you had to go through and had to follow through, or, or not really? No, not really. Never. Awesome. <laughs> not not. Awesome. Model. At least. No, that's that's great. That's that's great because I know a lot of young people have to deal with that, especially if they're doing so well in a certain area. So it's just amazing that I'm glad that you have it. But all I know is even if there are, you're gonna be able to go through it because you're just that amazing. So uh I gotta ask you, listen, you're a runway model, you're a commercial model, <laughs> you're a print model. I mean, you're so much do you have to approach them differently in any way? Uh, before you go on set or before you go on stage or before you go to the shoot? Um, do you have to approach them differently in any way? I mean, yeah, all of them are different um, types of modeling. So runway modeling, it's more like you have to like work with so many other people. And it's the same thing with print and commercial modeling. Since you have the photographers, you need to pay attention to the designers and everything. But um, there's definitely a difference because when I like go into a runway modeling um, show. It's like, I need to make sure I'm confident at all points, you know? I need to like make sure I get everything done that I need to. And then for like print and commercial modeling, it's more laid back since it's like a photo shoot, right? So you can always switch it up if you need to like change your hair, change your makeup. But runway modeling is just one shot, boom, on the runway, off the runway, you know? Yes. So it's much different than each other. And that's why I love both of them so much. They're both so fun, but in so many different ways, you know? Have you, have you, do you teach classes? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, listen, I think you should. I mean, you are so, I'm, I'm listening to you and, and you're so clear about what it is, the purpose and knowing, you know, the space that you're in and being different 
And I love that about you. So you should be thinking about taking, <laughs> teaching classes to teach someone else uh, to be as amazing as you are. Listen, you're so multi-talented. Um, did you, in your modeling classes, did they also teach you how to pose or just walk? They did. Posing was very, very important. Yes, yes, yes. And, and, and you're so good at, I mean, I look at you and, and I'm seeing you at all of these shows and I'm just seeing this amazing, and I'm so proud of you. Um, I'm telling you, I'm so proud of you. And I, I, I can't even just begin to tell you, um, but I want to talk about your singing now. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you model, you're a, to me, you're a supermodel. It's, it's, it's a done deal. And whatever place you want to go, you can go and do whatever you want to do. Um, but um, first of all, one more question about the modeling. Do you know any supermodel that is also a Taekwondo champion? No. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I did a little research and it was very hard for me to find a supermodel who was also a Taekwondo champ. Tell me, when did you get into martial arts? When did you get into that? Because I'm like, supermodel, Taekwondo. Okay, so how did that come about? My brother was first taking Taekwondo classes and my mom and dad realized that I would always like watch him. And then they realized that I was like also learning it at the same time. So they were like, do you want to try it? And then I said, yes. And here I am. <laughs> she says, she says, here I am. I'm a champion, right? In form. Listen, listen, first of all, you have to tell me um, how long have you been doing ta Taekwondo? No, um, I think since fourth grade, um, so like five, six years, maybe, I think. Wow, wow. Well, listen, I mean, everyone, um, uh, <laughs> she is the CMA National Taekwondo Championship 2021 first place winner in form and breaking division. Now tell me about form and breaking division. Um, so they're both different divisions. Um, breaking is basically where you do different kicks or hand movements where you hit the board and you break it. Um, and then form is when you do like your actual, I don't know how to explain it, like form your movements as yes, your belt. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so like, it's basically like a dancer doing a dance and performing it. That's exactly what a form is. You know, you're performing it for the judges. Um, right. I did very well in that division and I'm very <laughs> proud of myself. Uh, yes. that was a lot. Um, and for the breaking, I was actually very scared for the breaking because it's very hard for me when I see like a board and I'm like, I have to break through it, but I don't know if I can do it. But I did it first try and it was so fun. It was actually really fun. And it was, it was a great experience. Wait, 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 Suzanne. You, you're, you're saying that when you kicked the board for the first time, you broke it? <laughs> both <laughs> three boards and oh. it was, yeah it was actually two boards placed together yeah. oh I mean I, so first of all now I'm a little bit scared of you so <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to make you angry I don't want to do anything like that but wow what what was that feeling like to, to do it on your first try I was very nervous at first um and then when I kicked the boards and they broke I was just like, wait, it's, it's not that bad. It's easy. So then I just had the same thought for the other two um, movements I had to do to break the boards and they both came first try. So. Okay, so listen, are you breaking the board with your feet or your hands or both? Both. Um, I did two um, kicks and one hand movement. Wow, wow. Everybody listen, I mean, we're looking at a Taekwondo champion as well as a supermodel. And listen, I, I tried to Google it. Now there are some supermodels that do martial arts, but I'm, I, I'm not sure if I found any that are actually champions in their craft. And I'm so, but maybe they're out there, but far and few between, but all I know is you're amazing. So I'm just so proud of you. Um, and you sing. Listen, I know she can sing everybody because she's been to our events and she has sung melodiously i love your voice it's so beautiful it's so amazing but i saw this video and did i see you doing rock and roll 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you, I was like, where did rock and roll? Co- Tell me yeah. about how rock and roll came about. Okay, so basically, um, on Instagram, actually, one of my classmates posted, and he was like, um, "Anybody swipe up if you guys can sing." So I was just like, I was joking around. I was just like, oh, maybe let me swipe up, right? So then I say, oh, I sang. And then he's like, do you want to join my band? And I was like, (laughs) wait, (laughs) wait, what? And um, then I asked my mom about it. And I was in a different country at this time. I was on vacation. So it was just like me communicating with my mom. My mom said, yes. So I tell him, yeah, I'll join your band. And then (laughs) when I get back um, to the States, um we have our first practice or rehearsal and it was a few hours and it was so exciting so fun and then we book our first gig just like this like so quick um and we performed at the Atlantic Antic in Brooklyn which is a very big festival um lots of food activities and music music is very important um at Atlantic Antic and it was actually a charity show it was um, called Kids Rock for Kids, which is um, basically kids rocking to rock. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Wow. I saw your video. I'm like, go, Susan, go, go, Susan. I was so proud of you. Oh, my goodness. And Suzanne, you, you, you're just, um, just amazing. You're so gifted and talented. Um, now, wait a minute. You wasn't nervous on the runway. You take Taekwondo and you break the boards on your first kick or your first chop with your hand, I don't know. Now you answer an Instagram post about singing and then you're joining a rock band and you book your first gig like that. I'm just wondering, were you nervous at all singing at the festival? Oh, I was very nervous, actually. (laughs) Very, very nervous. Um, You can ask my mom. Um, I was like shaking because of how nervous I was. Um, it was like my first time singing with an actual band with actual okay. instruments because usually it's a karaoke instrumental okay. um, and I was around like so many people I know and like strangers you know it's New York City so it was very very scary um, and I was also really scared that I didn't have enough time to prepare because again the, the gig just came at us you know um, we met two weeks and then right after that it was just like the first gig um but then it was like I feel like it was more like relieving that I was with other people um with an actual band because let's say I did mess up they were there too you know and yeah. everyone messed up but it was so it was so fun actually and like it's rock music so it's just like very exciting and you're very pumped so I feel like the anxiety and the nerves were replaced with like like jumping, you know. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> wow. Do you do you see yourself going more into that area? I do actually. Um, I'm really excited to be a part of a band and I'm really excited. Um, and I can't wait to see what like the future holds for us as a group. Wow. Am I gonna see you like in the rock and roll hall of fame? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I love it. I she said maybe. Listen, I I have no doubt. <laughs> you are just um so out there, like you're so bold. Um, have you ever had to grow in confidence, or did you just somehow from your upbringing you were just always confident, or at any point like were you not as confident? Um, no, I think growing up I was always like. I'm very good at this. I'm very good at this. And I do know my weaknesses, but it's not like, oh, it's like bad. I'm not like, you know, I don't get like phased by it. It's just like, okay, I'm better at this thing than this thing. So I do feel like my upbringing has always been like me being confident in myself. Yeah. At age 15, you know what your weaknesses are? Wow. There there are adults who don't know what their weaknesses are. And you know what? Are you are you able to share with us one of them or you prefer not? Time management is a very big <laughs> problem I have. Okay. Um, yeah, I like my homework, for example. It's like very hard for me. And it's always like, oh, I have to do this, but I also have to do this, you know, and I don't know how to like split it up. But I've been working on it. 
and I've been keeping a journal to like make sure I do all my homework so it's it's good awesome <laughs> well that's a good thing at least you know what it is and you can work on it right so amazing amazing so I gotta ask you I want to go back to your your taekwondo I mean and we can talk more because I mean the music thing is just love your voice love 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 your amazing voice and you know some people we saw uh Adele on 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 TV the other night and you remind me of of, of someone of, of that statue that just you're so graceful in, in all that you do you're so amazing and just impactful is the word right you so, you make such an impact in everything you do and so just amazing i want to talk about the taekwondo again um tell me about your preparation how are you preparing for your your how did you prepare for this championship meet tell me like like hours a day or how often did you practice a week tell me about the sort of like the preparation part um i do taekwondo after school and it's usually um three days a week and then for the tournament actually we had to do sundays too um but at the same time i also have basketball practice for my school team so it was kind of hard to manage between the two um but i ended up doing very well Oh, so you're a basketball player as well? I'm a baller, yeah. <laughs> Everybody, she said I'm a baller. I love it, Susan. I love that. That's awesome. I love, I love your, your your greatness, your confidence. It's it's so infectious. It's amazing. So um, is there any other sports you do? Any other instruments that you play or? Um, I play clarinet. <laughs> It's kind of embarrassing. I've been playing since third grade and now I'm in 10th grade. Um, I've, I've only played it with my schools. Um, so I played it in elementary school, middle school and high school, which is very fun. Wow. And um, any other sports? Uh, I used to play lacrosse last year. It was something I tried. Um, okay. But yeah, it, it's a very fun sport. Very, very fun. What position do you play in basketball? Um, I play shooting guard, sometimes point oh. guard, but shooting uh, guard, I mean. You're a shooting guard. Wow, yes, you are a baller. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, everybody, a shooting guard is like, like they are the ones who get the ball who they want the team to score, right? Mm -hmm. Like they're the one, amazing, amazing. I would love to see you play one day. Oh my goodness, I have to see. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, so tell me, and not only that, everybody, not only is she a supermodel, not only is she a singer, um, not only, uh, listen, rock and roll. I mean, just, and any kind of, listen, she can sing anything. Happy birthday, and it's beautiful, right? Um, but uh, Taekwondo champion uh, in breaking and form, um, an athlete, basketball, um, but but also an actress. When, tell have you taken acting lessons? Um, I was actually at the New York Performing Arts Academy. Um, and I got a scholarship for it. And the classes I took were acting, singing, and dancing. So each semester, actually, the dancing classes switched. So I did jazz, hip hop, um, ballet, right? But for acting, I took it with um, an actress on Orange is the New Black. She played as a supporting character, which is very exciting. Um, and yeah, I did take acting classes for a year. Wait a minute, you got a scholarship? <laughs> Everybody listen, I'm telling you, this is why she's so amazing and, and, and phenomenal. Um, wow, for acting, dancing and, and singing, right? Yes. Okay, so, so wait, wait a minute, tell me, so do you dance as well? I am not a dancer. Um, <laughs> I dance for fun. And I okay. did dance um, for the New York Performing Arts Academy. Um, and it is fun. It's very, it's a very fun thing to do. And it's an, an incredible sport. It's very beautiful. Um, but I would not consider myself a dancer. No. <laughs> oh, well, listen, don't be surprised. Listen, you what 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 you might consider not so well, I might consider like a pro. So you're just I mean, you're, you're that good and that amazing. So tell me, what what type of music do, do you love to sing other than rock and roll? 
I don't know. I like to sing a little bit of everything, um, you know, pop, rock, um, musical theater. I love musical theater a lot. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you ever done? Have you ever done that? Have you ever been a part of a musical? I've done school musicals. Um, my first one was The Lion King, where I played young Simba in fifth grade. And then um, in middle school, I did Into the Woods, where I played Cinderella, and um, Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory, where I played um, Veruca Salt, the, the yes. grass. <laughs> yeah. Veruca! Yes, I know Veruca. Yes. Listen, I was watching uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory the other night. Is it? <laughs> love the movie love it i've seen it probably 500 times love that movie and the lion king i think i've seen it four times maybe three definitely three but maybe four times on broadway it's amazing yeah it's amazing so i i know for you to be simba and to be listen you are good and i love musicals so is that something that you would do like if somebody said we want you to come to broadway oh and yes. for six months <laughs> you're like yeah <"Yes." laughs> Yeah, it's like, I would do that in a heartbeat. Oh, my yes. goodness. Wow. Well, listen, that would be amazing to see you. Well, listen, I'm going to see you somewhere anyway, whether it's on television, whether it's, again, on the marquee, on the on the billboards, whether it's going to be on the cover of Vogue, on the cover of Elle, on the cover of every all, all these magazines. So I'm so proud of you and all that you've done. And you, and you stayed so grounded. Like, to me, how do you stay so ground it and not get so like above yourself i don't know i feel like my community really keeps me you know together and my family very important to me my mom my brother my dad yes my cat you, <laughs> you have an amazing family did you want to bring your cat on screen oh wait let me okay i'm gonna <laughs> okay. it's up to you if you want to <laughs> she's going to get the cat Listen, y'all, it's it's amazing to um, know this amazing young lady. We're so proud of you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you hear me okay? Yes. <laughs> oh, my good. And what is it him or her? It's a him, a boy. A him. And the um, name? Bentley. Like the car. Bentley. Oh. Um, Stop sleeping. Bentley. <laughs> Hi, Bentley. <laughs> oh, wow. He's tired. Listen. It's it's amazing um, that again you're so grounded and so well well versed in all that you do. I'm gonna just kind of throw it out there. It wasn't on my list to ask you, but do you do multi do you speak uh, multiple languages? I speak Indonesian with my mom and my brother, um, but that's it. And I'm taking Spanish. I've been taking Spanish in school since sixth grade, so that's like four or five years ish. But yeah. Amazing. So I got to ask you, Susan, what, what, is there anything on your vision board that you haven't shared with us that you would love to do? I want to be a lawyer. Oh, <laughs> I love it. And why a lawyer? I don't know. I want to like be able to help others and defend others in cases, you know? Oh, amazing. Amazing. And so um, let me go back to one thing. So Broadway, which which play, if they, um, which play would you want to do? If you could have your choice of any Broadway, any Broadway musical, which, which one would you choose? That's a very That's tough question. Um, Wicked. Wow. Have you seen it? No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, somehow we're going to have to get you to see Wicked. I, I don't know. I may have to uh, see what I can do to kind of make that happen for you. But um, I haven't seen it. My cousin has, and she says it's amazing. She said it's it's truly, and then, you know, of course you see little bits of it, right? From, from, from time to time, but I love musicals. Well, one, I love singing too, right? And so I love The Lion King. I love The Phantom of the Opera. Have you seen that? I saw it on TV, not the Broadway musical. It's been shut down for a very long time. Wow, um, wow. I did watch the movie and it's very, it's very beautiful. Yes, yes. And there was a Broadway play, um, a musical called Cats. Have you ever heard of that one? I have. The, the opera. Huh? The opera, Cats. Oh, listen, this, this musical, it was, the, the whole theater was built in like a junkyard. 
-hmm. and the cats would come out from everywhere, like even over your head. <laughs> but they were in costume, of course, but it was an amazing um, show. So I got to ask you, um, what has been the most challenging part of your journey thus far? Because you've had an amazing journey. I mean, in such short time frame. but what would you say has been the most challenging part of your journey thus far? I think um, I do a pretty well good, uh, I do a pretty good job on this, but also like managing between school um, and like my outside stuff, my extracurriculars, modeling, everything. Um, because school does take up a, a lot of my time and it is very important to me. Um, and I want to do well, you know, I want to get all my homework done, get good grades. Um, but I also love my extracurriculars. So I find balances between them. Wow. That's, that's what I was going to ask you. Like, how do you, how did you learn how to manage that? Like for shows that are like far away and you got to go and do different. So you've learned to kind of balance it. Yes. Wow. Amazing. Um, so I'm just grateful for you. I mean, what more is is there anything else that we don't know about you? I mean, again, I, everyone, I'm going to say it again. Taekwondo champion, breaking, that's breaking boards. Yes, you know, like wooden boards. <laughs> that's breaking boards with her feet and her hand. And just, I'm not sure she probably do it with her head. I don't know, but she's that amazing. Um, supermodel at the age of 15, have been on amazing covers. And, um, you know, I, I've seen you a lot with... Um, Vanny, Vanny Toussaint. I mean, ho hope I said her name right, right? Did I say her name correctly? Close. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah, so it's, as, but you've done so much with her and just, she's amazing. Um, and, and all that she's doing. And um, I don't know, I, I just see you going so far, so far and just so proud of you and all that you do. Um, is there more that you want to share with us that we don't know that you do? <laughs> I'm also a spokesmodel, actually. Um, yes. Um, the reason I actually got the New York Performing Arts Academy scholarship was yes. because I won um, um, the spokesmodel division in a tournament, in a pageant. Um, and then... I got the scholarship. I also went to the National American Miss pageant um, and I got third um, runner up for Miss New York, Miss um, Junior T New York. But I also won the spokesmodel competition for the pageant. So. And you're a pageant queen, title holder. <laughs> wow, wow, Susan. I, listen, I'm, I'm just in awe of you. Every time I had a chance to see you, of course, in person, it's been wonderful. And hopefully after this pandemic, we, we, we can get through it. Um, I can see you in person again. You're just that amazing. And I'm so proud of you. Again, I want to get your autograph again and again and again. Um, it's been wonderful taking photos with you. And hopefully one day we can do a photo shoot as well. It'll be an honor again to, uh, to be able to capture you on location somewhere. That, that would be an honor for, for me. So hopefully... So is that okay with you? Yes, definitely. All right, awesome, awesome, awesome. It would be an honor. So I gotta ask you, um, is there more? I mean, because every time I ask you something else, I mean, you're doing, you're such an amazing um, person and you've accomplished so much. Um, is there anything that you would change about your journey thus far? If, if you can go back and do it over again, is there any part of your journey that you would change? No, I don't think so. Not yet. <laughs> later on that I'll be like embarrassed about. But right now, no, I'm I, I like how it is right now. Awesome. Very good. Well, listen, we're proud of you. Is there more? Is there something is there a project that you're working on now? Or is there something a goal that you're aspiring to right now that you desire to share? And if you can't share it, it's okay. It's okay. But is there Not more? I think of. <laughs> I think. I think I said everything right now. But <laughs> something will pop into my brain and then I'll be like, right. got to say this. But right. right now, I don't think, yeah. Wow, well, listen, it's been an honor knowing you all these years and seeing you grow, um, seeing you grow into this amazing young lady. Um, what, do, what do your family and friends think? Like, do they share their thoughts about you or... 
at all? Like, how do your friends think about you? Um, well, my family is very supportive of everything I do. And my friends, they actually, I, I don't tell them <laughs> that I'm like a model. <laughs> they figure it out. They search me up. And they're right. like, oh, God, she's a model. That's so cool. You know, right. and it's like, right. always right. talking. They're like do you have a show this weekend do you do you have something to do and it's always like oh no i'm yeah you know like different answers all the time but yeah they're Amazing. all supportive. that's wonderful that's wonderful well listen Susan, I, I i gotta ask you um is there anyone that you want to well let me just ask you this last question unless there's something else comes from this um what would you say to someone who um doesn't see their dream coming to pass i mean you You've achieved so much in so many areas, so multi-talented, but for someone who isn't quite there just yet, um, what would you say to them to encourage them to not give up on their dream? I mean, keep going, you know, there's always going to be obstacles along the way, but you can get past them. Absolutely. Wow. Well, listen, everybody, listen, I'm so proud of you, Suzanne Koch. Listen, um, who, is there anyone you want to acknowledge? That has that has been a support to you along your journey. Anyone you want to recognize thus far? Um, I know again, sometimes you don't want to get to, to, to names because you don't want to leave anybody out, but I always give our guests the opportunity to um, acknowledge anyone that's been a blessing and been a part of their journey in a special way. Um, hi mom. My mom is in the other room, <laughs> but I think yes. she deserves the biggest like you know acknowledgement. She's my biggest supporter, and I love my mom. So yeah, and my brother, my brother too. He's he's good. <laughs> my mom's right Adam there. Is, Look at her. Adam is awesome too. Yeah, he's great. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, mom. Hi, Citra. How are you? <laughs> I'm watching. Here, I, she's watching I know you're so. <laughs> she's watching live on Facebook at the same time. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I know you're so proud of your daughter. Yes, I am. I'm blessed, Troy. I'm yes. blessed. And I, I'm so thankful to meet you, to know you. You always support Susan a lot, you know, and always have a kind word for her. You know, that's make her keep going, keep dreaming, and then continue to, you know, to reach her dream. Thank you. Thank you. Well, she is so special to me, as well as you are and your whole family. So even Bentley. <laughs> so we're so proud of Susan and just um you know any way that I can support you you know that I'm here for you so I, I will do all in my power to be there for you to uplift you and to encourage you and and to root you on because you're that awesome and amazing um so mom is there any more you want to share at this time about your daughter no, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> Sometimes I just, I just like, I don't know what to say. You know, whatever she does, she's doing. You know, she's just, she's doing the best she can. You know, because I told her, I just gonna support you whatever you do. And then you know, sometimes we drive like three hours to go to the practice toy. We went to Connecticut. You know, to band practice. Yes. That's why wow. I, you know, it's uh, success is not easy. You have to, you know, keep keep doing it, continue, you know. I'm behind her all the time. Awesome, awesome. Absolutely, absolutely. So proud of this. And so one more question I want to ask you, and then I'm going to um, ask you to give any social media contacts. Um, tell me about, um, have you had to sacrifice anything along your journey. I, I, I know sometimes people who have reached amazing plateaus in life, like sometimes they got to sacrifice going out a lot with their friends or different things, but have you had to give up or kind of let go or kind of pause some things in your life to, to be at the place that you are? No, I don't think so. Um, I think I've always like found a balance, like I said before, um, between social life, school, um, education, um, extracurriculars and everything. If you had to, because as I'm talking, new things are coming to me. Um, if you had to describe yourself um, or characteristics that you think have helped you to be the amazing person you are, like what one or two or three words would you use 
that would describe you, you think that has helped you um, to become the amazing person that you are? I think determined, um, hardworking, definitely the top two, and maybe like thoughtful. Love I that. Yeah. No, I love that. I love that. <laughs> Again, at age 15, thoughtful, amazing. And you are determined and, and I love your persistence and all that you do. I can't see what's next for you. I'm so proud and excited to see what's coming next for you. So where can people follow you? Where, what are your social media handles? Um, how can people connect with you if they want to reach out to you? Um, where can they find you? Um, my Instagram is um, at S-U-Z-A-N period K-O-C-H. So Suzanne.Koch. Her name is her brand. <laughs> so wonderful. Thank you, Suzanne. Is there more you want to share with us before we let you go? No, I don't think so. I think it's so. <laughs> Well, thank, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. Everybody, again, Please, again, uh, let's give a round of applause to the amazing Suzanne Co Koch. So proud of you. Amazing. Listen, I can't wait to see what's next for you, everybody. And you must come back. So I must have you back uh, because I know that you're going to be this amazing Oscar award winning uh, actress. You're going to be, again, this supermodel that's going to be making like $5 million, $10 million, $20 million. You know, just amazing on every cover. I'm going to be looking into the store, Barnes & Noble, walking into the store, seeing you on Cover Magazine. I'm so proud of you. And so everybody, please again, welcome the amazing Suzanne Cott. Thank you so much, everybody. This is Inspiration with Troy Alexander. We come every week to encourage you to never give up on your dream. And my motto is dream. Take that step and walk with purpose into your destiny. Thank you so much for your love. Listen, we have a special broadcast coming on this Thursday night at 7 p.m. Don't miss it. So thank you again for your support and love. Suzette, thank you so much. Ms. Citra, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Have a great night and go get your dream. Thank you all so much. Have a great night. Thank you. Thank you.